The future is loading. That's the theme here at Clarksburg High School for this TEDx youth event. It's been organized completely by students and it's designed to inspire ideas and start conversations. So I'm going to just talk to you really briefly about an NIH scientist, a television news personality. I, I traveled to Las Vegas to cover. Uh, the shooting along the strip there back in October. And the Montgomery the County what Chief doing. of Police. I mean, what, what level of confidence does the community have with the police? Those were just a few of the chosen speakers for the event where the goal was to spread ideas through powerful talks. Thank you, uh, Thank Director you Jackalone. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Something organizer Matt Evanson says has always fed his curiosity. So I've always liked to procrastinate by watching TED Talks. Uh, and so one day last spring I was like, maybe we could bring this to our school. Uh, and so I did some research and uh, my co-sponsor of this club, Mr. Lee, uh, he was a teacher friend of mine. And uh, so from there it just kind of snowballed. And when Matt approached Principal Edward Owusu with the idea of a TEDx event, he had no second thoughts about giving it the school support. Well, one, it's student run. I've been basically sitting in the back kind of watching. Um, two, it's the students actually having a voice and actually education. It's like they're, they're, they're making their own education by bringing in different speakers and different questions and then just the planning of everything. So when the students kind of start their own education, that's, that's what it's all about. That's why we're here. Evanson started a TEDx club at Clarksburg and enlisted more than 20 of his peers to help with the event. Uh, we initially split up into three groups, content creation, curation, media, and stage development. Content creation was uh, responsible for uh, all the videos you see up here um, before and after TED Talks. Uh, media was just to get the word out there, to get all these people here, and uh, they've done a great job. And stage direction, we got uh, our uh, school's theater company to uh, produce the sign up there. It's really nice. The fact that it's like youth and it's us actually like organizing it and contributing it to it really like shows the whole theme of like the future's loading and it's cool that like we're so young but we get to organize such a big nationwide event like this. And basically run my section. NIH researcher Dr. Becca McPherson talked about her research on the disease of Alzheimer's and working towards a cure. So from this we're able to see in 3D what is going on in the brain. And Montgomery County Police Chief Tom Manger like, spoke to the students to about the future this, of policing this, this, and how it's evolved over the past couple alone. of years. That the public wants to believe that the police are well-intended, that we are well-intended, that when we show up, we are there to do good, that my cops are going to treat them fairly, and we're going to do the right thing for the right reasons. That's what I want the public to believe. And the only way that the public's going to believe that is if we do the right thing and we do it the right way. There's always a lot of myths and a lot of, I think, um, uh, misunderstandings about what police do and why they do it. Um, so I think it's, it's uh, a good thing for us to have this conversation. And I'm going to talk uh, for a little while, but I'm really looking forward to, to taking questions from the kids and, and having a conversation. The speech you gave was like really changed my view. I thought it was like amazing. So how would you go about improving these relations between the, you know, the cops and the in the very citizens? Well, we all have some bias in us. The training that we put our officers through is, let's identify that bias and make sure it's not impacting the way you do your job, the way you're impa it's not impact the way you treat people. That's exactly right. And Council member Craig Rice represents the citizens of Clarksburg. He says this generation understands we need to come together as a community. And Chief Manger gets it. He really understands that his officers need to be not only reflective of the community, but actively engaged and involved in it. And so from that perspective, that of course is going to resonate with these students here, with this generation who understand that that's, for, that's at the forefront. You know, we really need to focus on that. And I hope that other jurisdictions uh, can watch and learn from something like this because it certainly speaks to what some of the other jurisdictions throughout the nation are struggling with right now. And will this be Matt Evanson's last TED Talk experience? Not likely. So I want to study computer science. And so might we see you in the future giving a TED Talk of your own? There is a possibility. <laughs> is that your dream? I, I, my dreams are not confined to the TED stage, but uh, that will definitely be on my bucket list. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.
Reporting from Clarksburg, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.